All right, well, this is the video that 11-year-old Ben never would have imagined making. Um, this is the final collection update, at least for now, but honestly, probably forever. This might be the last video on this channel. Um, I can't imagine I'm going to be doing much else. Um, life's been pretty busy. I graduated high school a couple years ago. At this point, it's a few years ago. Jeez. Um, more than a couple. Um, I got a diesel truck that I'm building right now. I got a business that I'm building right now. I got a side-by-side, -side, a boat. I got a lot of toys and shit. Quad that I got to fix. And like 40-something tractors, uh, which is my business. Uh, I do small engine repair with all that stuff now. Um, so, yeah. I don't have time for this anymore. I also got a dog that I have to take care of. And we're about to move. And I'm just going to box these up. And like I said, uh, it's going to be a very slow period of time uh, for me to probably pull these back out of the boxes. Um, so I want to do one last hurrah, one last goodbye to all of them, and one last goodbye to the YouTube channel. Um, I've been on here since I was, well, I've been watching YouTube since I was 10, when I first found like Rabbit Smeller 400 and 430 Bobcat, and uh, of course Sal and all those guys back in the day. Um, I started YouTube in 2012. I was 11 years old. It's just, just crazy because um, I'm just about 21 now. Um, yep. And uh, I'm sure when I was little, I would never have imagined having all these. And I'll be honest with you guys. I've, uh, as everybody knows, I've fucked up a lot of models. I've messed with them. And, you know, am I proud of that now? Not really, but I was a kid. I was just having fun. I don't blame myself. And I don't blame people for being assholes, but, you know, it is what it is. It, I, I still get shit. I'm not doing this anymore. I've got bigger fish to fry than a bunch of toys. Um, and if you're still into these, you know, more power to you, great. Uh, they're still cool. I like them. Um, I'm just, I'm not going to get shit for something that I don't even do. I'm, I'm building big, bigger things now. But let's, uh, let's take a look. So we got two Hitachi Zaxxas 200s. Got a Deer 200 LC. The Hitachi EH700, a 503, or uh, not 503, a uh, 308C CR, um, a couple of 450s still in the box, brand new. It's a gold scraper. That's a beauty right there, the 460, EC460, love that thing. There's an inbox, uh, 375, whatever the hell that thing is. Um, 125, I think, crawler with the uh, grapple bucket, a 906. And then the uh, 309. Now, I have another 906 that I can't find. So it'd be sitting like somewhere here with the loaders. That's another thing I gotta say is this is about 95% of the collection. I've got ones that are taken apart too far to be showing off. I've got ones that are already packed up. So this is a rough idea of what I have. Um, this is a 312B, 336EH, Norscott. That's a uh, beaver tail box with a beaver tail in it couple of the R924s. Ooh, excuse me. There's a uh, East Dump trailer. That thing's pretty cool. The 580B Harvester. My two 545 cats. Volvo. Um, I actually just picked this one up in May, I believe. There was a vendor at a tractor show that I went to, and he had a couple of them. I picked up a couple. I ended up selling one. I got a JCB uh, loader, too. I ended up selling that. Um, but yeah, I, I've gotten them. And then there's the Zaxxas 870. I'm worried about opening that because that might have zinc rot. This one, which you can't see because of the glare, but that's a EC700B. That's for sale. That's for sale. I bought both of those at that show. Um, then up here, we got the first gear tag trailer. The two OG land dolls, which is kind of nostalgic to see. A couple of beaver tails. My original yellow beaver tail. Then the custom trailer that I made with the beaver tail. That's my 320 ELRR. There's the service truck. There's the 323 um, that had the attachments. That's going to be up for sale as well. There's my Vermeer TG7000 tub grinder. Um, there's the Ackerman. I think it's a 650. There's a new inbox 330. North Scott, obviously. Got the Grove man lift. SM3248E. I, I got that. That was new in the box when I got that. A couple of Bomag. There's a little compactor. That's a cool little model. 
couple of bone mags as a street sweeper. And then we'll go start at the excavators. There's a 5110B, that thing's been beat up, but that was my first 150th model. 375, 245, a couple of 345s, 470, 450, 470, uh, a couple more 450 Hitachis, an EX400 that I attempted to build. It's not half bad, but not the best. Um, there's a 568, that's an original Tonkin model. Um, one of my favorites is my 330, the original one, slightly weathered. Uh, with a NorCal Customs thumb. He built that a long time ago on his road builder. Um, this has PC360 tracks on it as well. This one I was building a sewer stick for back in December when I kind of got back into it for like a short period of time. Uh, during Christmas is a slow time for my business. Um, that's also when I built, I was building a sewer stick for that. It's also when I built this thumb, which I'm pretty proud of. That came out good. Um, that's going to be a road builder if I ever get time. The Dirty 330, one of the reasons I'm into models, I was into models, this thing is awesome, I love it. It'd take a lot of cash to get that away from me. Then you got two of the 335s, there's the PC360, that's a decent model. I was actually surprised, I weathered it up a little bit, put the uh, 336 tracks on it. There's the 350, that's another OG model of mine, I've had that since like 2012. There's a link belt I built, I forget the model is. It's like a 4300, something like that. There's an Adam Bishop 328D. Still in good shape. It's got a grapple on it. And that's got 374 tracks on it or something like that. I forget. There's a Mitsubishi that's labeled as a cat. That's pretty cool. It's an E300. Those are weird in real life. I've seen a couple. They're not the best. There's another rare one, a Hyundai 290. I've yet to see anybody else with one of those. Um, 235, that's up for sale. Uh, these two will never be up for sale. That's a blue glass 325 and another blue glass 325. That's a C and that's the L. Um, this one I recently rebuilt too. I think they did this in December as well. Um, this was one of my favorite models back in the day. And for whatever reason, I took it apart because I was an idiot. Um, so I rebuilt the back cover there. came out okay, not the best. Put some new cylinders on it, um, and she's back in commission. So it took me like two weeks to hunt down all the parts for that. They were all over the place. There, I love the Conrad x squares too. The Conrad and the NZG are the best by far. That's another R924. There's a 240, two 323s. Um, and if, if the kid that I was supposed to sell or trade one of these with is watching this, um, message me. I lost your information. Um, we were about to do the trade right around when my grandmother passed away, so I kind of got distracted by that. Um, so let me know. I might still be interested. And then we got the 210 case. This is just an Ertl. Uh 210 link belt. That's a road builder. That's pretty cool. Another 210 case. That's a sentimental model. I've had that for a while. My dad got me that up in Maine at like a flea market or something. That's a 210 Hitachi. 210G, 210, or 200D, 200C high detail, 200C high detail, 200C low detail from Walmart, actually. This is one of my first 150th models as well. I've had that for a long time. Then a 200LC, high, or I made it a high detail. The OG uh, 200 uh, whatever, I think it was a 240 when I made it. I, it was stupid waste of money. Waste of time. Looks terrible. But I had to add it because it was an OG model. That was an Etter. Not the best. Uh, PC-138. 312B. A Shafe, I think. Something. A couple of the Gel 503Zs. The Wacker Newson version. That's a 35G John Deere. And the back hose. That's a Turex. I bought that at that big um, toy store in uh, New York back in like 2006 probably. 590L right there, and then a couple of 416s. That's another really cool one that I'd never sell. I think that's a 416C. Yeah, 416C. And then this is just a 416. It doesn't have a number or a letter on it. Now we'll go down here. This one is the reason that I hate motor art models. It's a terrible model. Volvo. It's for sale if you want it. Um, this is the Siku Liber. That's halfway decent. My favorite loader is the 966 XE with the yellow bucket, that's kind of a rare option as far as I know. Um, I think all the XEs ended up coming with black buckets after a little while. Um, 
That's a Rossi loader. That's up for sale too. I really don't need that or want that. Um, 924G case loader, um, L70. That's another one of my favorite loaders. I like that a lot. Um, that's a Lee Bear or something. Um, there's a little Bobcat. That thing's pretty cool. 953 Tract. That's a 332 um, John Deere. Then we get a couple of the Ertl John Deere ones. That's a um, New Holland version of the Ertl, or of the John Deere ones. Got a Heston version of the two cases. I got both the black and the uh, the brown canopy. Then we got this Mustang. Um, that's a Siku model. I've had that for a while too. Little John Deere, little Gell T770. That's tracked. In case you couldn't see it, uh, this is a T190 next to it. That's tracked as well. My dad had a T190 back in the day, so I always liked those. The rest of those are 753s. I also have S185s and S205s, but they're all boxed up with the rest of the big Bobcat models. Um, those are the three cats that I have, two wheeled and two tracked. One of them I removed Bob out of, which was a pain in the ass, I remember. But I don't like Bob, so he gets the boot. The other two have, it, have them still, unfortunately. This is the TD25 uh, Dozer. There's an 850K. That's another nice one I probably would never sell. A couple of D6Ts, a D6K. Um, that's a TD125 or TD15. Um, that little case I picked up at a flea market fairly recently, too. Um, whenever I come across them, I'll still, I'll still grab them if they're cheap enough. Got a couple of 650s. There's a 650H and then the 650J open cab that I did. Um, that is a high-speed dozer, terrible, two 450s, one high detail, and one that I just had sitting around. This International, I don't remember the number on it. Let's see if the camera can focus. Just says International Diesel. That's pretty cool. I got that up in Maine, too. Uh, it's a, you know, it skids. It's a track skidder, pretty much. That thing's pretty cool. Then down here, if it'll focus again, there we go. We have a cat paver. Then we have a cat telehandler. Then we have the little shuttle lift. A Maruku track dump truck. A couple of Deer 460Es. A D350D. An International by Conrad. A Mac uh, with the East Dump. That's a custom. CT660. Uh, Mac uh, in Chicago colors. There's the Oshkosh. There's a Mac with the flatbed dump, a Kenworth with the flatbed dump, a uh, Peterbilt. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. Um, Peterbilt rollback, Peterbilt 350, I think, with uh, that's a custom show truck. Um, there's a shuttle lift boom on a uh, 335, I think, Peterbilt. I forget. 357p uh, sleeper. That was another original model. That cat service truck's another original model of mine. I got that back in like 2011 as well. A couple of my favorites right here. This is a really cool one. I built this around Christmas time of 2017. It's got an inline motor instead of the uh, ISX Cummins. Um, it's got a removable welder. It does pop off. You can use the eyelet to pick it up. It's got Removable gas bottles on that side for cutting, and um, it's your typical sword body, so it's still got all the details in there. Fuel tank, vice, and then a crane off of a off of one of these. It's the IMT crane. That's pretty good. I uh, cut the chassis, get it all squared away. That's a really nice one of my favorites I ever made. Um, this is a 550 F550 service truck. And then an F550 on a Peterbilt chassis. That's got a custom Cummins in it. If I can get it open, it's got a 12 valve in there. So focus. Yeah, you can't really tell. Then we got a, another F350 um, extended cab, another extended cab, um, crew cab. This one was another recent one I did in December. Um, the bed didn't come out the best, but I like the color match. It looks pretty cool with the, the wheels I put on it. The replica of my original truck, my old 6.0, with a 6.7 front end swap, obviously. A couple of the first gear uh, Super Duties. This one's lifted. Pretty pretty big. Deleted, of course. Of course, I had to delete it, just like my truck. 
There's the uh, there's a Cummins. That's kind of cool. It's a pretty well true 150 at scale Dodge. A couple of the Forestry pieces of equipment. Um, Skitter. That's another OG model I've had for a long time. Then we got the 959K Fella Buncher and 2954D um, log processor. Or not processor, um, log loader. Then we got two original sword. If it'll focus, two original sword uh, T800Ws. Uh, those are both complete and original, except this one has stacks on it. Which again, I don't know why it's not focusing, but all original. That's an original sword low bed. This is a WSI low bed. Um, I have another sword low bed, but it's packed away as of right now. Um, so, yeah. I think that's pretty much it, guys. 15 minute long video. A lot of models. Just a ton of them. I think I counted 175 or 178 here um, with an additional probably 15 to 20 um, in other places. Or no, probably more than that. Probably close to 50 um, in other places. Um, or already or, or Oh, God. Or already packed up. But there you guys go. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I really want to thank all of my supporters through the years, all of my subscribers, all of the people that always helped me out and never, you know, tried to degrade me in any way. Um, and I honestly want to thank all the people that did pick on me and shit because it's pretty much set me up for the business that I'm in where I'm dealing with a lot of idiots and I have to have thick skin. So, um, yeah, I mean, it ended up working out for me in the end. Um, so, hey, it is what it is. Uh, thank you guys for watching, like I said, and, um, if you see anything in this video you want to buy, uh, let me know, um, comment below, and we'll figure something out. A lot of it I'll consider selling, there's quite a few that I definitely won't sell, um, mostly for sentimental reasons, or because I really like them, um, but yep, so it's getting late, I probably should, uh, clean off my kitchen, or my dining room table, so we can eat off of it tomorrow, um, so thank you guys for watching, and, uh, yeah. Um, I, I'll, maybe I'll talk to you guys again. We'll see. Maybe I'll get another model kick at some point. Um, probably not, but we'll see what happens. So thank you guys for watching, like I said, and, uh, goodbye everybody.